I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay, depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with the designer, because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. I can't forget the day we met. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Tour opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Hello, hello, hello guys. Happy, what's it, Tuesday today? Happy Tuesday. So Let's jump into this. I'm super pumped about the projects that I'm going to make today. Um, I think they're going to be super cute. I pray they turn out that way, and I think they will. So let's jump into it. So you guys heard me talk a little about Club Couture. Well, now let's chat about it. Let's chat a little more in detail. So this is uh, May of 2020's Club Couture, Love Conquers All. Sad truth. Love Conquers All is sold out. That does not mean that you cannot sign up for Club Couture. If you sign up, or in fact, if you sign up for Club Couture in May of 2020, your Club Couture subscription actually doesn't even begin until June of 2020, and you start with the June transfer. The Love Conquers All was just the ability of an add-on, if you will, to go ahead and get it. Now, um, there are so many fun things that are, are available for our Club Couture customers. The, the first thing is when you join Club Couture, you have the ability to add on either, well, either the Club Couture transfer, the Kickstarter kit, or both. Since the um, current month's Club Couture isn't available to add on, why not add on the Kickstarter kit or do both next month? But you can still add on the Kickstarter kit this month. It comes with a 9x12 porcelain steel Ada Magnetic chalkboard, a two-pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a three-ounce bright white chalk paste, a multi-tool, and a 5x7 palette frame board. Okay? So that's one awesome thing about Club Couture. The next awesome thing about Club Couture customers is right now we offer flat rate shipping to all of our customers. It is $6.95 in the U.S. and $13.95 in Canada for your entire order, okay? But when you're a Club Couture customer, you get bonus flat rate shipping. Flat rate shipping is $4.95 in the U.S. and $9.95 in Canada um, for Club Couture customers. So that is super awesome. The next thing that is makes it even amazing to become a Club Couture customer is you get bonus specials from Chalk Couture directly for being a Club Couture customer. And this month, it's called Last Chance Love. The uh, everything that is in the last chance section of my online store, if you're a Club Couture customer, you get to purchase them at 50% off. 
How amazing is that? The other thing that you get to do when you are a Club Couture customer of mine is I will send you the link to my private Club Couture group where I go in and make three additional projects every single month without fail to give you more the most bang for your buck that you're spending each month. So if you would like to have those details messaged over to you, just comment Club down below and I'll be sure to get them to you. Also, if at any time you'd like to go into my VIP group and you are not a Child Couture designer, just comment me down below and I'll be sure to get you that link. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the ability to purchase a business in a box and launch your empire. What I'm talking about, it's becoming a, a chalk tour designer on my team. So this is the business in a box, aka new designer kit. It's $99 plus tax and shipping in the US, $129 plus tax and shipping in Canada. It comes with five three ounce chalk piece, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12 pack of thank you cards, a 12 pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a nine by 12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard, the read me, the gorgeous spring summer catalog, six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers, and the club couture transfer. So what does that mean? Oh, that transfer I just told you guys about, that Love Conquers All transfer, the only way you can get that is if you join my team. Now, you might be saying, Jess, that sounds all well and good, girl, but I have got questions. No worries, because I have answers. All you need to do is comment, join down below, and I will message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team. I want it to be a decision you're super happy with. So comment, join down below. The next thing I wanted to chat with you guys about is we are less than a week away from the Chalkathon. This Saturday, March 16th on the International Day of Light will be the Watts of Love Chalkathon being hosted by not only myself on my page, but by Chalkator on their page. I'll be live from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and everything I create that day will go up for auction for Watts of Love. I will also be doing, um, I will also be over on the Chalkator page because I have an item that I have uh, I have ready for auction. So you want to check those out on the Chalkator site from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So remember, everything goes for a great cause. It goes to Watts of Love, which is an organization that helps bring light to those that need it, okay? Now, I'm going to throw a little something up on my screen while I just finished getting all my camera angles ready for you guys. Um, and this is for all of my new friends who have never heard of Chalkator before or may have heard about it, but you're not currently working with a designer, okay? So let's see. Hi, Leora. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Melinda. Hi, Claudia. Hi, George. Hi, Margaret Miller. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Linda. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Terry Gaskin. Hey, Sandy Wright. Hi, Debbie Birmingham. Hi, Sean Marie. Hi, Janice. Hey, Julie. Hi, Dion. Hi, Kim Weiner. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Karen. Hi, Debbie Adams. How are you guys? Okay, so I think we're ready. So, do you guys remember the super cute little pillows that I made the last few days? Wait till you see the idea that I hope comes into play um, to put them into a tear tray. I'm hoping it will work. We're going to see. I'm not sure. We're going to try it out. But I do have another little idea. I've made a bunch of decor already for my porch. So now I'm trying to work on my tear tray decor. And today we're going to do a little house using our house cutouts. And we're going to do home sweet home. And we're going to use, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit both two of these homes. So I'm either going to use the Forever Trio, which has the word home in it. Or, and, and then I'm going to use the word sweet from Sweet Summer. So we're going to figure out which transfer we're going to use. I'm hoping it's going to be Home of the Brave. But we're definitely going to use the Home of the Brave Um for the next project. Now, Home of the Brave is due to come back in stock this week. If you are interested in getting your hands on it and you need a reminder or you want me to shout you out in my VIP group when it does come back in stock, comment hashtag Home of the Brave and I'll be sure to add you to my link, okay? Hi, Sherry Fernandez. Hi, Dusty Camp. Hey, Steph. Hey, Christina Herring. They sure will be able to build it on auction items. Um, I will give you guys a hint. Um... My auction item has is all bee themed and you guys saw me create the stuff. So definitely take a look at that. It's all tiered tray stuff. Mine is going to be on the Chocotour website. I don't know what time it will be, um, but it's going to be awesome, I hope. Hi, Timmy. Hi, Margaret. All right, so let's go ahead and let's create our little house, huh? So I need to get my glue gun plugged in because we're going to make a little roof. I just haven't decided if I want to do anything on the roof. I was thinking maybe I would paint it, but I don't think I want to. Um, I may not even do the roof because it might hinder where I can put 
this on the tier tray. Like I may not want to put it, you know, on the top shelf. I may want to put it on the bottom shelf. So we're going to see, we're going to get everything else done and we'll decide about the roof. So let's see where this would be if I were to try to do the home sweet home. I know I want to use the stars from this. Okay, now I've already used this transfer nine bajillion times, if you guys have not already witnessed. I've already written on the back of my transfer. It's already ready to go. So I want to see. Oh, I think I can ease. Oh, it's going to be super tight. Can that? You know, if I cut off a little bit of the H, will that really be so bad? I don't know that it'll be so bad. All right, let's do our little stars, though. That I definitely know I want to do with this transfer. So let's put our stars on first. And I'm going to be, I'm going to try and do this um, with like a red, a blue, a red, a blue. We're going to see if I can actually make that happen. And it does appear, nope, it's definitely crooked. I'm trying to make them be straight and I wanted to use the tip of the house as like a marker. I think I got it right there. Yes. I just used the corner of the house to try to get it on. And I think it looks good. So we're going to go with it. So we're going to use a mix of Candy Apple, Cadet, and Black Velvet on this. And like I said, we're doing this. This is some more patriotic decor for Tear Trace today. So it's going to be super cute, I think. And in, in my brain, it's going to be adorable. Okay. Let's get these colors open. We won't open the Black Velvet just yet. Because we're going to really be doing a little of the Cadet and Candy Apple really quickly with the little stars that are gonna be so cute. <gasps> really, Jess? Could you be any messier, lady? Gosh. Okay. All right, so we've got that mixed up. Let's mix up my candy apple. I'm trying not to get any, any more cadet in here. I already did that the other day. Okay. Let's get a paper towel so I don't end up marking up my little white house, huh? Uh, do, 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 do. And I'm not going to do the stars along the bottom. I'm only going to do it right, oops, Ooh, there it goes, right along the top. Okay. All right. So let's go red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Or candy apple cadet, candy apple cadet, candy apple cadet. Need some super skinny little squeegee chunks here. I'm just spilling them everywhere. My goodness. All right. So. I'm going to start off with Cadet, and my thought is going to be to do every other. And I'm going to hope to move sort of quick so it doesn't dry out on me. Okay. Oh, perfect. That looks so cute. Okay, so that's a start. Now let's dry it. What is this? I don't even know what that is. Okay, let's dry this. So cute. I wish the stars were a little bit bigger, but I can handle this. This is good. This is good. Okay, I think we're dry. Looks dry. Yep, we're dry. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, hold on, I'm trying to get, I've got so many cords here, it's crazy town. There it goes. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the home sweet home. So let's find the word home here. And I guess maybe what I should do is start at the bottom first. Oh gosh, why is that like super cut off? I'm trying not to wear the chalk paste on my 
new sweatshirt here. Just want to make sure that I'm sort of even. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're going to go, do I want to do, I think I'm going to do black velvet for both the homes and candy apple for the word sweet. Okay. Hi, Jean. Hi, Leanne. Thank you, Margaret. <laughs> Hi, Mary Eager. How are you? Okay, so we are definitely getting down to the nitty gritty of our black velvet. Mama's going to have to open up a new one. <laughs> but we've got more than enough for this project. There is more than enough in here. It's just we're just almost down to the end is all. Okay, so once again, trying not to wear the chalk paste on anything. I probably should put my apron on. That would probably be the best thing to do, but I'm not going to go dig it out right now. All right, so let's... Hey, Michelle, how are you? Okay, hold on. Hi, Lisa. How are you doing? Okay, so we don't need very much. What is that underneath here? Is that a fuzzy? It sure is a fuzzy. Hold on. Okay, ready? We want to get a nice clear transfer so I could pick this up and put it back down, you know? So we've got home. Do. Whoops, sorry about that. I'm going to put this right here. Don't fall. Let's grab out sweet out of the sweet summer. Glad to hear, Michelle. Hi, Heather Kelly. Taking a break and watching Lisa. That's good. Okay, so we're going to do the word sweet, which is from the sweet summer. Oh, this puppy needs to be buzzed. The other transfer I haven't worried about fuzzing because I've been using it so much. It doesn't need to be fuzzed. It was good. This one I've only used maybe once or twice. It's still super, super sticky. And because I'm doing a layer, I want it to be... I'm going to try to line this up in the center of the home... You gotta... H O, I can see H O M E. It looks a little crooked, like I'm too close to the M. Trying to go as centered as possible. It's a little hard to see. I think that'll work. That should be good. All right, so we've got home. We're going to do sweet. Oh, just be careful. I have way too much paste on there. Okay. I think we're good with that. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. I love it. All right, and then let's try this, and then we'll do home again. And you know what I'm thinking now? I think I do want to add the roof, and I think I want to do the stars that are on the flag portion of the home suite of the Home of the Brave. I think that would be super cute. Okay. 
trying to see if how straight I can get this. Looks a little crooked. Yeah, that is definitely going crooked. Okay. That looks like it could be better. Hopefully, the slant looks right. I'm trying to lift it up to see. Nope, it's definitely not right because the, the whole E fit on here. Uh-oh, did we lose sound? Hi, Cindy. Hi, Becky. Hi, Burn. Please say it's just me and I threw the thing down and my sound is not gone. Hold on. Hi, Teresa Roller. How are you? Oh, good. Okay, we didn't lose the sound. Woo! That was a panicked moment for me. All right, so let's see if I do this and I just move straight on up like this. Let's make sure this is straight first. My goodness. Goofball. Okay. Here's the fun fact. Why do I have so many things open that I don't need open that are hindering me? <gasps> no, I almost did it again. Let's get these things closed that I do not currently need. And then maybe, just maybe, I can make it a little easier on myself. Hi, Cindy Adams. Hi, Susan. Thanks, Dion. Okay, let's try this again. Come on over here. Get out of the way. I know that the E definitely fit on before. I'm hoping I'm not too high above though now. I feel like I am. Oh God, why didn't I just do this to begin with? That looks like it could be straight. That looks good, and I'm going with it. I'm not messing with it anymore because I'll probably ruin it three more times if I keep on messing with it. Just don't do it, Just, Just don't. Okay. Let's see, though. Oh, it looks perfect. Once again, I love that. Okay. All right. So let's put this over here for a sec. Let me dry it. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Hi, Christina. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Deb Burns. Hi, Susan. Okay. I think we're good there. All right, so let's see about adding some tag minis for the roof. Get open. So if I were to maybe do it like this. That would be super cute, huh? Or if we had them come together at the point like this, maybe we could add some ribbon at the top. Oh, that might be cute too. All right, so let's see if I can get... Let's close this up. I'm done with this. I don't want any more black. I want red and blue now. Okay, if I can get all the stars from the one area of the flag to go 
I will likely do that. Will that fit the tag? For sure it will. So that's what we're going to do. And you know what? Since I used the red as the sweet, why don't we do the tag as the all the cadet? What do we think about that? I'm trying to line it up, though, where it's sort of straight. Once again, just not trying to wear any chalk paste on my sweater. So I got to pull that down a little bit. I'm going to try to line it up. Whoops. Oh, wait. No, 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 dummy. You want to go to the top. Hold on. Oh, that's easy enough to line up, huh? Just line up the bottom of the tag. And it's actually the pretty much the same. That's perfect. Okay, we got this. We're going to make this happen. The, some of the tags might be going off a little bit, but guess what? The entire tag mini itself is going to be covered with the chalk paste. So that makes it super good. Okay, that's why I'm having a hard time getting it to hold. So we're going to do it all in cadet. Since I did the word sweet in red, I'm going to just use cadet. And why I grabbed a whole new stir stick when I already had one, I just fully pull this up and reuse it right away. I don't want to have to go clean it. I'm going to wind up wearing the chalk paste. I feel it. Man, let me tell you, though, this cadet, this consistency is on point. Love it. Okay. So cute. And the tip up here, I'm not worried. I'll get chalk paste on there. Look how vibrant that is. <gasps> Love it. I probably should dry it before I mess it up, but we're going to just take our chance. We're going to just take our chances. I'm going to attempt this to push it down. We'll see what happens there. Okay. I'm going to just sort of take my time, but not. Consistency is on par with amazing. Getting all that excess up so I don't have any lines in my silk screen area. Don't want to have any. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. <gasps> we had a little bleed. No big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Put it like that. All right, now let's bring them over. And let's dry them. I might be able to get this little part of the star that bled off. We'll see. Thanks, Deb. Hi, Eileen. Oh, I can't wait to make it, Jane. Oh, the measurements are three by five, um, Leanne. There are tag minis. We sell. I sell them in my online store. They're three by five. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Bev. Hi, Penny. Hi, Vicki Hunter. You did lose sound? Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. I can't hear until I shut this off, though, so hold on. No, I definitely still have sound. I can hear it. Maybe go go in and out, Deb. Okay, so let's see if I can't get this off. Let's see.
So it definitely stained, but that's, you know what? I really don't mind. It's one little spot. It's not a big deal. Little, little bit of stain. I could always just come in and paint it. I don't know that I'm going to have that same color, so I'm just going to let it be. It's one little spot. It's okay. I'm so okay with it. Okay, let's put this away. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's glue it down. And actually, why don't we get some ribbon real quick first? So we have this. This out of the way. Okay. So cute. Oh, it's going to be adorable for the house. Okay, let's find some ribbon. We have plenty of, of fun little ribbon here. I, get my, I gotta get some thin stuff, that's all. One, oops, two. Three. I thought I had thinner, thinner ribbon. I guess I don't. Okay, so. We're gonna go with these two pieces. Maybe this. This is kind of cute too. All right, so we'll figure this out. Maybe we'll go with this ribbon. Just trying to see really quickly, like if I do it like that. You know what I could probably do? Take one of these. Aw, thanks, Mary Beth. Thanks, Eileen. Sound is good. Thanks, guys. Hi, Nancy. You think, Jean? All right, let's just test it out. We'll see. I won't make it a big one. Thanks, Susan. I won't make it a big one, I promise. I just want to see something really quickly. I'm going to get these through. So that way, when I glue it down, at least I already have something to tie it with. All else fails, I could just yank it out. Nope, don't fall. Oh my gosh, it's so precious. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to tie this on here cuz I think it might be cute. All right. So, let's get our glue on. Of course, I'm running out, so I got to put another one in. Oh no, I'm not. Okay, I've got plenty. This one was going to be the bottom one. Ack! Don't dry out hot glue. Don't do it. Okay. I definitely did squeeze right on through some of that, didn't I? There we go. Okay. Okay. I know it's going to be straight with this because I lined it up that way. Tie that like that. And then we'll do just a little bit of ribbon. We'll see how it looks. If it doesn't look good, we just won't do it. It's that simple. Just a little bit, though. I may have already cut this too short. We're going to see. We're going to play it by ear. I 
I'm almost out of this ribbon. Oh, I'm going to be so sad when this ribbon goes. It's like some of my favorite ribbon ever. The red. Mm, it's not my favorite. Not a fave. Thought I had some extra this left. Oh, I do. Where's it? It's right here. Before I go cutting some more. And I even have these guys. Which we'll see. See, I save. I am a saver here when it comes to crafty supplies. I try to keep things that I can use. There we go. Okay. So we're going to move this back so I can show you guys what I'm doing. I had to cut it. Sorry. I know some people are like, oh, we can't see what you're doing. It's fine. It's fine. I promise I won't do anything without you guys being able to see it. Okay. Hi, hubby. Oh, hey, what up? How's work? Glad to hear. Yeah, man. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's try to tie this and see how it's going to look. Yikes. Aye. Like I said, it wouldn't be a big, big one. It'll be a little itty bitty bow. Just a little bit to give just some patriotic feel. You know? Here's what we're going to do, though. I think it'll be a good size. I'm going to tie it on with this because I need this on here instead. The other ribbon is a little too difficult to tie with. It's like not, I can't get a good grip in there to, oh yeah, this is adorable. Just enough to do a little something just to give it a little little pizzazz, if you will. Oh, it's so cute. It's perfect. Oi! If it'll stand up. A little top heavy now. Okay. And then we could throw this little piece in there. Just to add it on. Add some more flare. Okay, let's clean up our cuts here. Our ribbon edges, I should say. While trying not to cut yourself. Okay. Sorry, guys. I know I'm out of view, but I got to cut this right since it's already tied in. Sorry, Savvy. You'll see it in one second. goes cute little angles for my ribbon here there we go this one why are you fuzzy what is your deal ribbon there it goes okay oops I forgot to cut these two There we go. Oh, this is so cute. Home sweet home. With my sweet little bow. And the bow looks like it's a hot mess from here, but I promise you, my bing will really work out. Because I have a really cute idea. And if not, we're going to just flop it over the metal thing. Okay? So, where's it at? 
So I found this in my stash and failed to remember that it had Merry Christmas on it. Wait, hold on. Let me get these things cleaned up first. I hate having crap everywhere. I'm already messy. I don't need um, to have a messy space. Okay. So I found this in my stash. Oh, it's making me sound hollow. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have the best idea for this. Womp womp. Forgot it was Christmas. So here's the thought I had. I was thinking I could maybe make my own with one of our tag banners, right? But now instead what I'm thinking is I'll make something to go over it to hang. Uh-oh, did I get right on it? Oy, I almost broke my house. Because we can have something maybe just hang over it like this to disguise it. And I want to put celebrate, lib what's it say? Celebrate Liberty on it. And then we can put, look, you guys, where are they? Remember these fun things that we made? Wouldn't it be so cute to have them like sticking out of it? Look, right? I don't have enough room to really like show you the right way. I'd have to lift it up and show you. But what do we think? Do we think that would be like so adorable? So here's what I need to do. I got to keep it folded like this. So I know where to put my little ink mat to keep it in place. Oh, and ink mats, you guys, we're a little behind again because they are getting delayed by ship. They come by cargo ship. So whereas I thought they were going to be back in stock next week, it's actually June 1st. And I apologize. It's just everything is running super slow. Okay. So, and you see how it's got that leaf or the holly? It's not even going to be seen because everything's going to be hanging over it. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and let's do this. We're going to do Celebrate Liberty, and it's going to be just big enough, which is awesome. I think it appears to be super straight as well. Go figure. And because I think I do want to keep this outside, I think I'm going to... I am going to use, no, you know what? I'm not going to use ink. I'm not going to use ink. Am I even at all? No. So L-I-B-R-T-Y, that would be the center. And they are pretty much the same difference away. So I think I'm going to do it just like this. And look, I think the E should be the center. So what we'll do is we will do one color in Candy Apple and one color in Cadet. What do we think? Yes. And actually, now that I think about it, no, I could use this envelope in the tier tray too, hopefully. If I use my one tier tray, it should all fit. If I use the other tier tray, eh, we might have a little bit of an issue. But that's going to be okay. We're going to make it happen. So how about we do... Celebrate in Candy Apple and the Liberty in Cadet. What do we think? Do we like that idea? That is got. Hmm. Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to fetch my mini squeegees here. I need a mini one. Okay. So what did I say? Celebrate in Candy Apple, right? I think I did. I'm trying to be super careful how I put it on. Because I don't want to rub any color that could still be wet from the stars onto this. You know? So this is just one of our pennant banners. It's the 9 by 12 that I just folded in half. I think it's going to work. I'm hoping it does. Okay. Oh, I just got Cadet all over my tablecloth. Awesome, Jess. Way to go. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I think I covered everything. Let's try and take it off and see what it looks like. Really like that R to be a little bit brighter. Please say I'm not messing it up. Great. That looks so good. And I'm sorry, I may not have shown the entire thing, but I couldn't move it once I got it on. Okay, so this, beat it so I don't wear the color. Okay, let's close this up. Okay. <gasps> no! I've been doing so good, but not getting it on me. I think I just got it on my new sweatshirt. It's funny because the sweatshirt makes it look like I'm wearing a dicky. You guys know what that is? Like the little turtleneck thingy or no, or even a kerchief or something. I'm not. I'm wearing, it's just like one all solid thing. Hold on, I need to get some of this chalk paste off my hands because it's officially everywhere now. Ugh. There it goes. I think I got it all off me. Nope. That's the place that'll creep up and stain you under your nail. Okay, I think we're good now. Get out of here. Dry my hands. So I don't get any stains on my thing here. Okay, so that's going to look so good. Oh, it really is. Okay, let's get this out. Hold on, that was an extra one that came. One sec, let's get this undone. So I can take my heat tool and dry it. Okay. Let's get these out of the way so I have a little bit more room to move about. Okay. Thanks, Dion. Thanks, Mary Beth. Thanks, Deb. Thanks, Leanne. Hi, Lisa Jurgens. Hi, Sandy Silva. Hi, Megan. Can you cover it? Uh, Mandy, what can I cover? Hi, Darlene. Hi, Kathy Garcia. Thanks, Deb. Oh, thanks, Mandy. I'm getting forward now to see. Thanks, you guys. Hi, Luann. And Ascot. Thank you, Darlene. That's what it is. Talk about dickies and years. I made you laugh. Holly Smith. <laughs> Hi, Jane Brown. How are you? Over on YouTube. Okay, so we got that part down. Oh, hold on, wait. I feel like I should probably save this because I feel like I'm going to wear more of the chalk paste. All right, so now what I want to do, let's bring back. Um, let's put that away because we didn't use it. Let's get that out of the way. What did I do with it? Here it is. Okay. Now, let's bring this back up. Okay. There it goes. So you guys can see. So what I want to do is, I'm pretty sure I want to, I would love to be able to glue it in. But what if I want to change it out for other holidays, right? So my thought is, what about a magnet? So let's see if my magnet strips will work on this. I might have to hot glue it on. But we're going to, oh shoot, let's dry it first. I'm going to make sure it's all dry. And we should dirty it up, probably, as well. Why don't we do that as well? Because it's way too clean. It's way too clean. Yeah, let's sting it up a little. Hold on. Boop, boop, boop. Let's get this. Let's go walnut. Okay. Yes. Hey, Margaret. I totally could use glue dots. Glue dots will probably work. I'm going to try the magnet sheet first 
And then, oh, that's just fuzz, thank goodness. And then if the magnet sheet doesn't work, hold on. I knew I pulled out a piece of paper towel for a reason. Okay. And then if the magnet sheet doesn't work, we'll go glue dots. Because glue dots you can yank off for sure. So I'm just going to dirty it up a little bit. I don't want it to be like all perfecty perfect. I want it to look distressed and aged, you know? Sorry, I got to pull it back a little. Hold on. I'm not doing anything different than what you guys saw. I'm just running my little dauber across this. That's all I'm doing. Okay, that appears to be nice and dirty in the areas I want it to be. It's okay, Mary, no worries. No worries, girl. Oh, come on, phone. Of course, you know who that is? When I needed them. Verizon. Fios. Curses. All right. So. I want to make sure that it's going to come down where I want it to. So let's see. Oh, yes. The magnet did it. So look. I just pushed it onto here at the tip and it's sticking. It is sticking, sticking. I might put another piece down just to be safe because it is crazy windy up in these parts these days. Oh, I'm so excited that this worked. Oh, so you know what, you guys? Someone's at my doorbell. Hey, Ka! Do you mind to see who that is? It might be the guy for the porch. I'll be right there. Tell him to meet me in the backyard. Thank you. All right, so guys, we have the guy that might be here for our deck. And... We're going to shove these things in here real quick so you guys can see how this looks. Thanks, Kyle. Okay. One, two, three. Perfecto. How do you guys like it? All right. So let's come on back up to me because I got a jet. So we cover up the spot perfectly. We've got our Celebrate Liberty. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then let's check out our little house. Hold on, let me hold it the right way. Oh, I got a blue fingerprint on it. I'll have to clean that off, hopefully. Okay, so we've got our home sweet home. Celebrate Liberty, and we're all done. All right, you guys, if you want to get into my VIP group, comment me down below. As long as you are not a chalk couture designer, I'm happy to let you in. If you want the details on joining my team, comment join down below. And if you want the details on Club Couture, comment club down below. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I got a jet. I'll be back tomorrow, okay? Bye!